subtracting the number of teens from the next highest power of 2. Now we have there are 11 teens and next highest power of 2 is equal to 16. So the number of by is 5. Suppose we have 12 teens. Now what is the next highest power of 2? It's also 16. What will be the number of by's? 16 minus 12. The number of by's will be 4. Suppose we have 19 teens. Now what is the next highest power of 2? 32 is the next highest power of 2. Now 32 minus 19, it will be the number of bytes. Hope it's clear. Number of teams in upper half. Number of teams in upper half. N plus 1 by 2. 11 plus 1 by 2, 6 teams will be in upper half and rest all 5 teams will be in lower half. You know what is half? Actually, we have to divide the number of teams in two halves. The upper part of half is known as upper half and the lower part of half is known as lower half. Now, how many teams will be in upper half? It is will be decided by using the formula n plus 1 by 2 and how many teams will be in lower half the formula will be n minus 1 by 2 and 11 minus 1 by 2 it means 5 teams will remain in the lower half hope it's clear now now how many buys will be given to the upper half and to the teams in lower half the number of buys in our upper half the formula is n b minus 1 by 2 how many buys are there? 5 buys are there. 5 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 buys will be in the upper half. And the formula for the number of buys in lower half is NB plus 1 by 2. 5 buys are there. 5 plus 1 by 2. 6 by 2. 3 buys there in the lower half. So how it's clear? Let's see again. We have 11 teams, the number of matches will be 11 minus 1, 10. The number of buys will be the next highest power, which is 16 minus number of teams is equal to 5. 5 buys will be there. The number of teams in upper half will be n plus 1 by 2, 11 plus 1 by 2, 6 teams will be in upper half, and rest.